Well, I'm just, uh, Amy came down to the barn this afternoon. She had to wrap up tactical mounds, knees, and jog white tiger, and get ready for being gone for a week. And um, I just come down now. Now, I want to do the aged horses. We had a few new horses. I bid on a horse on Ongate yesterday and didn't get her. Uh, she was a trotting filly that was going. My idea was to replace Swan's Honey because I assume Swan's Honey is going to win. Well, she wins three races. She's out of that class. And once she's out of that class, she's out of that class. She's out of a lot of classes. So it's either put her on on gate or try and race her in a 12 claimer, which doesn't make much sense to me. So uh, that's probably the first The first route is the one we'll likely take. So let's start here. Adrenaline rush back now. Jason's Barney's ready to start jogging and training again. So good news there. Uh, Bolt Power, one of our newest horses in the Meadowlands. Harry Poulton has him. He's going to be schooled next week, and then Harry asked to, to geld him. He said he's a medium-sized horse that carries too much weight because he's a stud, and he's roaring and squealing. Is there a reason we can't castrate him? I said, no, not at all. Go ahead. So Bolt Power will be castrated next weekend. Brave World, uh, back going now. I suspect he'll be ready in the next couple, three weeks. Captain Michael Dio, really interested in this horse. I can't wait. I guess he's a three-year-old. He would have been on the three-year-old list. Ah, whatever. He's on the age horse list now. Captain Michael Deal. Can't wait to see how this guy races his first start. Uh, Compass Rose DC. A little flat her last two, but they were a second and a third. like to see her get to the winner's circle this week. Uh, don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> Who wrote this out? Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> don't believe me, just uh, watch. Uh, don't believe me, just watch. Um, is back going. Same, same trajectory as Brave World. He'll be ready in two, three weeks. Uh, Globe Trotting will either school this week and race next week or train this week and race this week. That will be up to Jason and James. I'll leave that to them. High Gear No Fear, again, has not started training. Just light jogging, just a mild exercise until we get his blood perfect. It's coming. A Glare AM uh, going to Mohawk to train this week. I suspect James will train in two, three, two, four, two, five, maybe two minutes. I don't know. Uh, I'm a lovely lady getting very close to racing also in Ohio. Jazzy Judy tied up two starts ago, so you can pitch her last two lines, but I would like to see her race well her next time out. So we'll see if that happens or not. I would say if we get on a little bit of a roll, we'll probably put this filly on on gate mare now, I guess. Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, one win away from exiting the stable. He just, he's been a good horse for us, but there's nowhere to race him after this next win. Kings County. Uh, he's got a lot of money and a lot of wins, but we got different plans for Kings County. I like the way he looked the other day. We changed his shoes, changed some equipment on him. We'll see how he schools this coming Friday and then off to the races. Um, LD's Patrick. Couldn't ask him to be much better. We've raced him three times. He's got two wins and a third. He was nothing short of awesome last night. Yeah, he might have just wrapped him up halfway down the lane. Earplugs in and won very easy. James said he was very, very good. Locatelli kind of got thrown to the wolves this week. They put him in the open. I, I documented this very well. That will not become a regular occurrence. Mama Knows Best was uh, has come in at the same time as Walk on the Moon and I'm a Lovely Lady. All three look good. All three are getting very close to the races. My Jazz, one win again from being out of all the classes she can race in. I had somebody say, well, she fits at Nomers at 10 at uh, at the Meadows. Yeah, she also fits uh, the open trot at the Meadowlands. She she can't do in that class. She's not good enough to do in the Nomers at 10. So Jason had said, gee, could I race her in the amateur races a couple of times? I'm sure you can. I don't have a problem with that. Race my jazz, and then we will breed my jazz. No free lunch schooling this Friday. First start back from hurting himself last year. He looks very good on the track. Uh, now, great question from somebody. We were going to put him on Lasex his last start, and then he got injured. Are we still going to? I left that up to Harry, and I don't think he is. You know, I, I think I, I do want to ask him bluntly, are you going to? But I'll leave that up to him. If he doesn't want to just yet, then we won't. But again, um, if he does, he will. Either way, we can, as long as you don't qualify off it, then when you go to put them on it, it's two weeks. So um, that's a great question. I'll have a, a conversation with Harry about that. Uh, so and Sue is back in now, probably looking to school her a little on short notice, but she's so wiry and crazy. There's not, you can't just say, oh, go a couple of slow miles. Or, there's no such thing. She's a lunatic. So put some exercise into her, put her into school, go mile and two, four, covered up, probably on TQ, and then uh, put her in to go. Um... Stonebird Simba will be back in in the next 10 days or so. Swan's Honey is going to be in to go Thursday, coming off a great race, a great win Thursday at Flamborough. Tour to Lindy, drew the outside. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Drew the eight hole uh, in Tuesday at, 
Tuesday at Northfield Park. Walk on the Moon is getting close to the races, probably two weeks away maybe. Uh, White Tiger back in the open but short. Maybe short this week. We didn't train him in between his two starts. Then the races were canceled. Then it was bitterly cold all week and the track was hard. We just didn't train him. So double jogged him on Saturday. That was the best we could do. We'll see how he races on Monday. And then uh, my boy, yes, he'll be back in uh, probably in the next 10 days. So now you're up to date with all the aged horses and one three-year-old by the looks of it. We'll be back in a minute. All we got left is the three-year-olds.